Hello there viewer, this is John K again and I am in the countryside of Kenya, the Gatono district. Here in this area is where the president of Kenya comes from. So here is where leaders are born. And not only leaders, I'm telling you if you're there at home in the city enjoying a glass of milk, a glass of smoothie, your kids eating healthy because of maybe some of you are fat. And I'm taking you to the place where these items come from. The primary of the items that you enjoy in your dinner table come from. You can see behind me, forest, you can see behind all these are plants. I'll be explaining absolutely what they are to you because I know you don't know what they are. And you know, they say Kenyan coffee is the best, but you don't know where this coffee comes from. I'll be showing you just that. This is the beauty of Kenya. I'm telling you, here you don't force the grass to grow, man. Here grass grows by itself. You can see, um, this is a grass. Where did you see grass that is long like this? I'm telling you, here is where the soil is so fertile. I'll be taking a palm, a palm of soil in my hand. There is nothing absolutely that cannot grow here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Kenya. I, John K, the greatest adventure of all time, bringing you great adventure experiences and taking you to new places. This time, I take you guys to a place where you get to see where everything that you enjoy in the dinner table comes from. Here, people eat fresh things. They don't know what this refrigerator is. Though they have, they don't use it because they eat direct from the soil. The earth here provides, man. And this is a message to you all, the Kenyans. I start with the Kenyans. You don't know what resources God have blessed you with. So stop spoiling what God has given you as Kenyans. Stop shedding blood. This is my message. We got the beauty. Look behind me. We got the beauty. In other countries, I'm telling you, they are so rich, but they don't have the resources that you have. They wish they even had a plant same like this. And this is the pride of Kenya. Patri and me and my friend who is behind the camera there, we will be taking you through this. This is just John K. Let's check. Now guys, I am surrounded by, or can I say with, what is the best language? I don't know, but you choose. I'm surrounded here by banana plants. You are enjoying your smoothie day, you're eating banana after gym, you don't know where this comes from. Mm -hmm. I have just plucked a banana leaf. Here I'm surrounded with banana. I'll be showing you how a banana looks when it's not ripe. I'll be showing you also how a banana looks from the seed. Do you know everything that grows to a beautiful and important as anything that grows to an important thing must start from a seed and Joe okay, will be taking you through this and I'll be showing you just that. So, my privileged viewers out there, here that I'm standing, I'm standing in a field surrounded by arrow roots and I'm holding three items here that I'll be explaining to you. This is the pride of Kenya. This is how a banana looks when it's not ripe. And where does this banana come from? Here, this is the seed that produces banana that you eat and you make smoothie out of and uh, it's amazing to see where these things come from it's it's amazing to see how God created this world in a mysterious and wonderful way and John K is as excited to show you this do you know what is arrowroot in local language here they call it 
Ndoma. This is Arurut and they are quite expensive there in the city and uh, because this are food that when you eat daily for breakfast it's believed to have the great value for the body it's believed to improve your health than eating a big bread and that's why here people live for long there are people here who are over 100 years old because they have been eating this ethnic food here from Kenya and we produce the best we produce absolutely everything the best coffee the best banana the best and other roots here the best and I'll be uh, taking this back to where it came from yeah I hope it will grow again but there are plenty of those plenty of where that came from and here is how they they are planted and the, they look beautiful like this. Green from where I'm standing to where my eyes can take me. It's pure green and I'm telling you, this is the pride of Kenya. Kenya is truly a beautiful place and I'm telling you, Africa is a beautiful place. And when you know how to love our own country as Kenyans, when we know how to appreciate what God has given us, and I'm telling you, we will find ourselves loving our own country and we were going far when, when we know how to manage our resources that you have have you ever seen a stream do you know here you can drink fresh water without chlorine direct from the soil here the earth gives everything you don't need to go hungry i'll be taking you direct to something that is called a stream not a river a stream you can drink fresh water from it now let's go and take you there this is junk here I know so much about this thing it's because I was born here in this place and when you are in a journey maybe you are coming from the other side of the valley and you are so tired and so thirsty you don't need to go and buy water here water is provided for everyone and I'll be showing you how to drink water with the arrowroot leaves and the fresh water you don't need to sunk to sanitize or what, what, what do we call it? <laughs> yeah, here yeah, water does not have germs. This is water fresh from the ground. I don't know where it comes from really, but I, all I know is a stream and people drink from it and absolutely it's approved and it's so clean. No sewages here, only fresh things you get here. And John is giving you the chance to experience this. Yeah, that is how you drink from this and the water here is so fresh. Do you want to experience this the same I've experienced here? <laughs> Join me on John K Production and subscribe to this channel as I take you to great places that you have never seen in your lifetime. It's amazing.
you guys where we have brought you you can see I'm standing on a river stone a rock that has eroded over years to become small sand like this and absolutely this is a small river a seasonal river it can dry sometimes when it, it's very dry or uh, it's not raining it can dry but before when I was small and I was a child it was a, a big river it could drown you now I'm taking some water from the river and when the water touches the stone it becomes so slippery it can make someone fall down I don't know how to try to get my foot inside the water <laughs> oh, I'm scared to fall down yeah. this is what you get it's actually somehow deep and uh, you can hear the sound of waterfall I'll be showing you the waterfall down there and uh, another stream of fresh water where people drink from it it's absolutely amazing here I'm surrounded by plant crops that bring food yeah in your dining table here are where people work hard day and night and it is a pride to them they don't shy from it it's the pride of Kenya is the pride of the primary crop production is the primary of domestic farming here in Kenya and John K is bringing you these amazing things together with my friend there behind the camera yep I just plucked uh, a leaf and uh, this leaf is edible it's uh, actually cooked it's a legume plant this one and it's actually very tasty and everything here you see is cooked and uh, have you ever seen a bean? This is a bean plant. And inside here are beans. I'll be showing you. This is a bean that you enjoy there. And this is where it comes from. I know you're hearing the sound of water. Here's the waterfall. I'll try and go there. <laughs> Yeah, this is a waterfall. I mean, the waterfall is so beautiful. When you want to meditate, when you come here to have peace of, of mind, you can come here and listen to the waters as they flow with fresh waters here. Very nice, very beautiful. With beautiful surroundings, fresh air, as you can see, I'm surrounded by trees. They give oxygen instead of carbon for oxide. Here, there is no Toxic air. <laughs> here is only fresh air. <laughs> there is another stream over there. Guys, this is another stream of water, fresh water. And uh, I drink from it also. <laughs> so refreshing, so cold. Here there is no need for refrigerator, man. <laughs> Those people still have them, but for sure, because here you don't need to refrigerate anything than what was left last night after the day. And uh, <laughs> it's actually amazing. Let's show you the waterfall from this angle and how it's amazing, how it looks. See the waterfall. Guys, we just took a drink from this fresh, <laughs> fresh stream. Standing here in the small river at the middle of it, and just amazing. <laughs> Behind you can see the waterfall, the mini waterfall, and it's uh, absolutely amazing. I'll be showing you more. This, my friend, Karis, man. Yeah, they know. <laughs> My friend, they know. So, uh, <laughs> no Rose, yeah. 
And right, now let's go and show you more. Ah yes. Hola, Dolly. Eh? Hola, hola. Mucho ken. Aquí está, está. Cabeza, bueno, no potea, bueno. Mhm. Un poco de ajo, cabeza. Sí, venía la de sema. Aquí ni ni do. Msani Mwene msani Mwene msani Mwene msani Kutoka juu mpaka chini Kabisa Kabisa Ya mimi sasa Kisasa Yo kentia chapa Ya nasema Tukona John K John K Mwanze Dennis Kadis Na sister ke apa? Dia tu nak ni sapa? Kebisa, kebisa, kebisa. Jadi kian apa dah? Hello, you are seeing a good view from where I'm standing from. I'm telling you, behind me is a coffee plant. And here in the domestic farms, where people have their own farms here, they grow coffee. Kenyan coffee is known out there in the world to be the best in the world. And I'm telling you, here is the primary production of the coffee that you enjoy there. Cappuccino, latte, espresso, and you say, Kenyan coffee is the best. I'm telling you, this is the coffee that you get. This is the best. And I'll be showing you, this is a ripe coffee seed this is a raw coffee seed this is how it actually looks from the ground you only know coffee is a black powder that you compress in the expression espresso machine <laughs> forgive me for the lack of, <laughs> of the words there but I'm telling you when you press the black powder coffee from espresso machine there this is the primary product of what you enjoy there and Kenya brings the best. Remember, the red soil that you are seeing here is the key and the trees here, here rain is inevitable. It doesn't stop raining here. Here the air is so fresh. I can almost taste the oxygen itself. This is John K and I'm excited to bring you the pride of Kenya but three, there you go. That was a long steepy hill and you can see behind me like a mini forest this I'm telling you guys this is a cypress forest these are cypress trees when you're there sitting relaxing on your coach and you don't know where that coach has been made from I'm telling you even the table there huh, I'm telling you where you are eating and where you are laying your legs on they come from these trees here. The cypress trees are the primary of the wood that gets to be modified to become a very comfortable coat there in your homes and comfortable table to eat from of it on. And uh, I'll be walking inside. This 
uh, young trees they can grow to as big as as big as I will be showing you where I'm looking at now over there there are very tall cypress trees they are very big they can grow actually very big these are just small trees baby trees of cypress and uh, it's so beautiful that here we don't force things to grow man here things grow by themselves and the, the, the smell of the, of the forest and the birds singing with the echo sound is just amazing here in Kenya and me being the greatest adventure of all time brings you the best and takes you to new places enlightening you about the places that you don't know Jump. I'm standing again there is grass that is actually taller than me I am 5.5 I think but here there is grass this is not a sugar cane my friend this is grass Napier grass primary food for the livestock here to give it the best milk I'm telling you here grass it's very tall very beautiful very green everything here is absolutely green life here is just blooming and blossom ah, now we'll be taking you to see some other items that are available here the sugar cane which is resemblance of the grass that you're seeing here the milk where it's come from the cows the cans chicken mm -hmm. here chicken don't get any chemicals to grow here chicken is absolutely protein itself and the eggs here are just absolutely amazing and we'll be just taking you to those places Bam! I am at my uncle's place in the countryside of Kenya. Here is where I have shown you all those things that you have seen. And uh, here beside me, there are maize cones here. And I don't know what is it, is it about the maize because everything that comes from the maize has made some people very famous. A guy just ate a food made by maize cone there and he became famous, he met the president, another one ate ugali which is actually made from the maize also he became a millionaire in one week so we are taking you here with their maize cones I'll be plucking one this maize cone it uh, actually looks like sweet corn also They look dry because they are ready to be harvested. With this you get very many food items. This is a corn. I call it food from heaven because whoever eats this becomes famous. I'm famous already. So, <laughs> so that how it goes and i hope you have enjoyed this enlightening documentary that i have just made with the help of my friend there dennis and uh his channel is dangerous, dangerous. <laughs> yeah you'll be seeing some funny clips and enter entertaining films from there until next time thank you <laughs>